Technically, again, this is legal in many places still, gray area legal, meaning you can't legally sell it for consumption, but you can sell it on research company websites as long as it's stated it's not for human use. But the problem with these RCs is they have not been thoroughly studied, so we don't know the long-term damage. And you said that this has been used in therapy sessions as well? It is like, currently so being testing. explored right. as a therapy substitute to MDMA. MDMA. And why some therapists prefer it over MDMA is because it's less touchy-feely. Okay. So in a therapy setting, you don't really want your, your client like yeah, feeling you and hugging yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it offers all of the enhanced sharing and truth serum-like effects mm -hmm. of MDMA Without minus the tactile. The tactile. Yes. Right, okay. yeah, so, so it really, what therapists like about it is it promotes sharing. So this is not really a, a bad compound. I mean, there's really no good or bad drugs. It's all about how you use them. Any drug can be used in a debilitating way or in a positive way. It's about the intent you bring into it. So I don't want to paint a picture of this as something negative. I just want to say that it needs more research. 